Google Messages has a ton of hidden tricks you probably didn't know about. For example, if you want to send a message but don't want to send it right away, long press the send button and a menu will pop up letting you schedule that text. You can choose from the three presets or you can set a time and a date manually. If you're on the beta version of Google Messages, there's a slight chance that you can access Google Gemini and talk to it like any other regular contact. You just need to start a new chat and you should see it as an option right at the top. This will open an ongoing thread with the AI assistant and you can ask it to write different types of messages, plan an event, brainstorm ideas, generate images, translate languages, and a lot more. Again, since this feature is still rolling out as a server-side update, there's a big chance that you may not have it yet. As of now, it's still only supported on a handful of devices as well, including some of the later Google Pixel devices or Samsung phones. And it only works on Google accounts that are 18 years and over and are set to the English language and have no family link, along with being a beta tester for the Google Messages app. But even with those extra things enabled, there's still a chance that you may not see it. So have some patience. Either way, you can still access Google Gemini from the Play Store, so it's not really that big of a deal. A new Google Messages feature that is a bit more widespread is Photo Emoji. It lets you create sticker-like emojis out of photos from your gallery. You can either long press on a message and hit Create, or within the Emoji menu, you can hit Create and take a photo straight away or choose one from storage. AI will do its thing and your sticker is ready to be slapped on any message as a reaction. This will be saved for future use in their own menu. Plus, any photo emojis that your friends create will also be saved on your device, which is also pretty neat. But again, even though this feature is a bit more readily available than the Gemini integration, it's still not available for every device yet. To add on to this, a bunch of other emojis will show up as animated from both you and whoever you're messaging. I can't lie, these are pretty cute. They keep things fresh and they add a new dimension to chat threads. There are also a handful of animations that start to play on everyone's screen whenever you react to a basic emoji, which is pretty neat. Plus, even for certain phrases like I sending an I love you message will cause a full screen animation to start playing. Another beta feature that should be widely available soon is that once you finish recording a voice message, you can choose from a set of nine different animated moods before sending it. This adds a fun layer of visual expression to accompany your voice message. Now when receiving voice messages, you can have the app display transcription of that message if you'd rather read it. To make sure this is on, go to settings and then voice message transcription. Another neat trick is that you can send pictures in full resolution over sending them quickly by going into the settings and disabling the send photos faster option. While this will increase the time it takes for images to send, they won't get compressed and will send in full resolution. You can also pin important message threads to the very top by long pressing on one and hitting the pin icon up top. That thread will now stay up there no matter what. You can also save messages individually by long pressing on one and tapping the star icon in the upper right corner. To see the messages you've starred from a thread, tap on the three dot menu, tap starred, and everything you've saved from that conversation will show up here. Now, if you want to find out who's behind that unknown number that keeps calling or texting you, Google Messages can't really help out. But with Circle, the sponsor of this video, it can. Plus, if you'd like to delve deeper into the background of someone new in your life, or maybe do a background check on someone you're looking to hire, Circle can also help out because it's the ultimate search companion that lets you find extensive information on just about any person or organization. You just enter the person's name, phone number, email, or address into the search engine, and within moments, you'll find a complete report on that person containing their criminal records, contact details, residential and professional history, online accounts, and more. And don't worry, this is completely legal since all the data that Circle obtains comes from US public records. And these public records have hundreds of millions of data, so there's a high probability that you'll find a full description of anyone, anywhere, and identify anyone's true identity. So if you want to give Circle a try, use my top link in the description and you'll even get an exclusive 30% discount on all packages. Back to Google Messages, it also has a nice handful list of smart suggestions for some devices. In the settings, go down to suggestions and here you'll see things like smart reply for a super quick response, suggested stickers, 
suggested actions, which based on context clues, provides options for things like creating a calendar event, attaching a recent photo, or starting a video call, things like that. And then there's Magic Compose. This is an AI feature that's currently in beta, but it comes up with different suggestions for what you're about to send. It does a pretty good job, and in some cases, it can come up with stuff that is downright hilarious. This next one is pretty popular, but for the few who don't know, you can use Google Messages on your computer. You just head to this website called messages.google.com web, and you can pair your devices using either your Google account or a QR code, which doesn't require your Google account. Then on your phone, tap on the profile button, device pairing, and select the method you want to use. Complete the process on your computer and you're in. It's super easy and you can keep your phone paired with that computer for future use, even if you close that browser tab. You can also make your favorite conversations turn into bubbles. These floating bubbles allow you to access ongoing conversations while using other apps. You can enable this for every conversation or for specific ones of your choosing. While some prefer to keep this feature off, it's still a nice way to multitask and has been for years. Plus, some of these features that I discussed in this video won't even work unless you have RCS enabled. So head into the messages settings, then RCS chats, and make sure the status says connected. It can even ask you to verify your number. RCS or rich communication services basically just enhances your chat experience by enabling extra goodies like red receipts, high quality media sharing, typing indicators, end to end encryption, message reactions, and more. You can also send messages over data rather than SMS, and it provides an experience similar to that of other messaging apps like WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. Within RCS chat threads, you can change the color theme of the message bubbles when you hit the three dot menu, go to details, change colors, and you'll see eight different palettes to choose from along with the default material you option. That details page is also where you can set per conversation notification sounds. So under notifications, scroll down to sound, then choose the sound you like to play whenever that person messages you. And while we're at it, there are also a couple of other things worth enabling within Google Messages settings. For example, even though this option is only available on a few devices, you can tap on message organization and enable the toggle within it to automatically delete the on-time passwords after 24 hours. These are basically messages you receive with codes to log into your accounts that require two-factor authentication. Next is swipe actions. This is where you can choose what happens when you swipe left and right on message threads. You can choose to delete, mark as read or unread. You can turn the function off or leave it set to archive, which is what it's set by default. And another tip is to head into advanced and enable the show iPhone reactions as emoji option. This is pretty self-explanatory. Whenever an iPhone user reacts to one of your messages, it'll actually show up as such on your end. And thank goodness RCS is coming to iPhones later this year. So get ready for that by getting your Android touting friends and family set up with these tips and tricks. Either way, tap on this video right here to learn about how you can customize your Android on the system level with some pretty awesome mods. If you found this video to be helpful as well, just drop a thumbs up to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!